guys, it's Kai and welcome to Hardware Heaven. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Corsair M65 Laser FPS Gaming Mouse. Now the one I've got in front of me today is the Arctic White version. It also comes in black and grey. Now the first thing that I want to do at the beginning of this review is quickly take a look at the comparisons between the M65 and the M60. As you can see here, we've got the Arctic White M65 and the black M60. Visually, there really isn't any difference at all. You can see that the Arctic White has got a gloss finish and the black M60 has got a matte finish. Now, I'm thinking that possibly the M65 will also be going along with this matte black finish because it does look really sleek and nice. Although I would say that the glossy finish does actually feel nicer to the touch than the matte black one. Now, the differences between the two mice are simply just the DPI, which is the laser sensitive Activity. The M60 has 5,700 dpi, whereas the M65 has 8,200 dpi. Now, this specifically being an FPS mouse, that dpi difference really does matter. Now, let's quickly take a look through what there is on the mouse and what we can see visually before jumping into the drivers and the usability of this mouse and what I like and dislike about it. So as you can see, we've got the Corsair logo on the back of the mouse. We've got a left click, a right click, a middle scroll wheel, which also has a click button. And then we've got an up and a down button here, and that controls the DPI sensitivity. And you'll be able to see that the blue light in the middle changes depending on how high the sensitivity is. And then on the left hand side, we've got two buttons located here and then a sniper quick shoot button, which when pressed, slows down the DPI ready to get those headshots in. So that's a really useful tool for those who play FPS games. You could bind it to something else, but it is specifically designed to slow down the DPI so that you can really, really get to grips in getting those headshots and having that camera moving a lot slower than your mouse flying across the entire screen. You can see that the backlighting here is blue. That can't be changed. It's simply just blue. You In the drivers, you have an on and off switch. So if that's something that you were looking to change maybe to red or something like that to match the cases unfortunately not it does only just stay blue if we look at the base of the mouse we've got five mouse feet here which are hard plastic which provide a smooth surface for you to be able to move the mouse as quickly as possible and then we've got three different weight tools here which can be moved to change the weight distribution of the mouse to really make it fit to you glide how you want and then obviously we've got the sensor in the middle the mouse does glide very very well although I would say it does work a lot better on an actual mouse mat rather than a surface that I'm using now. As you can see this is stuck to my desk, it can't really be removed and I would say that sometimes the mouse has a little bit of resistance whereas you would prefer to be smooth, that is what it's designed for. I love these mouse feet, I've said before that I hate mouse feet that can be removed. Sometimes they fall off, you lose them, you end up having to buy more. I really like ones that are just stuck on properly, they stay on, they're really smooth and I can see that there could be a lot of use put into this and you have to worry about the metal scratching across a mouse pad because they are quite raised. Another thing that I really like is the scroll wheel is quite wide so that you've got quite a big mass on that as well. It also is one of those scroll wheels that you can feel every single scroll rather than it being a constant scroll back where you can't really control it. This really does allow you to zoom in and zoom out which again is something that's really really needed for FPS games. This is definitely designed for someone who plays a lot of FPS games. There aren't that many buttons so an MMO game I probably wouldn't get that much use out out of it which predominantly is the kind of game I play. I have tested this out on things like Borderlands 2 and I would say that this is very very useful in controlling those DPI settings to get those headshots in but apart from that it's a pretty standard gaming mouse. There's nothing too fancy about it. All of your profiles are stored on the mouse which is great so if you are changing different PCs or you're on the go that is also really good if you're taking it to a convention or a LAN something like that then your profiles are saved on board therefore you don't have to worry about saving anything on a memory stick or anything like that it just saves onto the mouse so you can use it wherever you want. The clicks feel really really nice and it's rated for 20 million clicks there is a long life on this mouse there is also a warranty for it as well so that's great it's good to know that it's going to last long you're not going to have to keep Keep replacing it. Now let's quickly bring this M60 back in here. I would say if you already own the M60 there really isn't much point in upgrading to the M65 unless you're rolling in money. It just honestly feels like there isn't that much different. The DPI changes
changes are good however it's not drastically necessary I really like the looks of these mice and the simple fact that they're exactly the same looks wise just means there's not really much point upgrading they obviously found a product that worked people obviously liked it because they remade it with a higher sensitivity so that's all I would say if you were the kind of person that wanted more sensitivity definitely go for the m65 although i would say if you've already got the m60 there's not that much point upgrading now let's go into the drivers take a look around show you what you can change and customize so here we've got up the M65 Corsair drivers. We've got an image on the side locating all of the buttons. You can add and edit profiles. You've got some macro management. You can turn the lighting on and off. You can switch between multiple devices if you have got more than one. You've then got playback options, delay options, advanced options and button options. And this is all to do with the actual buttons and any macros that you create. You can then manage the performance and select the different settings of DPI that you want and then manage the sniper button. So you can see here that we can go from 6,000 DPI straight back down to a 400 in a single button when we press the sniper button. You can then test the surface quality, which if I show you that now, simply means that you move the mouse back and forward on a service. I'm just doing it on my desk right now, and you can see that the quality isn't that great. If I now jump that to onto my surface mouse map, you can see that instantly the quality jumps right up. So you can test the quality of your surface that you're using whether you need to buy a new mouse mat whether it's compatible with this mouse etc etc which is a really useful tool and i haven't actually seen that before you can then manage your profiles on this button here for multiple profiles that will be stored on the device this is a great way to actually manage those keep them in track and have multiple profiles depending on what games you're playing and what sensitivities you need so just to recap i'm absolutely loving the scroll wheel on this i really like the mouse feet on the bottom as well I really think this is a great mouse but considering they both cost $69.99 there really wouldn't be much point buying practically the same mouse all over again just for a couple of thousand DPI I really think that if you already own this there's no point buying this however I would recommend buying this mouse straight out if you're looking for a new FPS mouse the design is great especially in white I've got a white Corsair case and it matches perfectly and I love it the backlighting is great as well you can really see those keys in the dark i like the fact that the the lights go all the way through the center of the mouse as well so it does give you a little bit more illumination even though there is only three buttons on the top there this mouse is great it's really smooth it works great the dpi changes are good i really like the sensitivity that you can get or you can have it really slow moving if it's something that you want to do with precision which is also good i personally am mo gamer i as always would say that i'd prefer more buttons on the side but that is the only really downfall that i can provide and i think this is a great mouse you should definitely check it out if you're looking for one thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye